Well, after over a month's hiatus, I have returned to the scene of LOL. Unfortunately, I am rusty as anything. By which I mean, I'm not effortlessly, well, effortlessly screwing with people in mid. So, I decided to go on another account, which is of a slightly lower elo. So, this is 1420, a still so low recorder tells me. Uh, I, the other thing is, I'm also going to be using spectator mode because I can actually go backwards if I need to in this. So, I don't see any reason to use the other one at all. This is maybe the HUD is a little bit more cluttered, but we'll see what happens. What happens here? We have the Sin Jungle. No, more important than that. We're against Canon Mid. I'm lacking a Canon video, so I might as well put this one up because it is classic how you kill Kennen repeatedly and what his weaknesses are. Um, so since in the jungle, uh, there was a bit of miscommunication because I wanted mid as LeBlanc so I could just get free elo. Uh, except Scion picked Scion. And we have no idea what the hell is going on. He just said nothing in chat. And then he gets a bit angsty about it. So yeah, that's that. So what's the first thing to note with Cannon? The first thing to note with Cannon is you can always try to bait out his Q because at the first stage at 9 seconds or so. Is there something ridiculously high anyway over yours. Um, what else is the... There is no real way that he can proc his passive at level 2 because if he doesn't take his escape at level 2 that just means he's really gankable. But in this case it doesn't really matter. And in this one, uh, I assume he lacks experience with it. Or maybe it's just normal people who just don't understand a better LeBlanc who just won't QW instantly and therefore he just walks straight back in to my distort range. So I know he now took um, Surge at level 2, which means he's vulnerable to ganking. Because he's bound to take Q at level 3 again, and then it won't take his escape to level 4 because that's showing what everybody does as canon. But uh, Jungler was at top. Got the kill, so that's fine. But whenever I play canon, I can't be asked to be without my escape mechanism just because, in case, just because I might be selected to be the first gank of the enemy jungler. In this case, it wasn't because I don't know why. <sighs> he got a kill top, so he was fine. The lane is pushing his direction, so I wonder if we can do anything about it, but he just skittered away. Could we have jumped on him? Probably, but we didn't really need to. Here, I could have distorted on him, but the fact that he was running at me, I thought that I was being ganged. I was really surprised when I wasn't, but it was just the way he changed his behavior. Instead of being at maximum range, suddenly just walking up to me. Well, I actually could have killed him. That just really surprised me, and it turned out all he was doing was being stupid. I didn't punish him for it, surprisingly enough. But, Sin wonders whether he can dive Kennen, or whether he's killing rage. He would have been if he was around 450, between the two of us, but he now has too much health, and he has everything back up again. So that is that. Sihon somehow dies, even though he got first blood, and I'm being called a retard. Even though I single-handedly win the game, not single-handedly, but I get a lot of assists with it. So, Kennen charges at you, right? And he has a scissors on his head, so you can just chain him. And the most he can do is put two marks on you, so you will never get stunned that way. Uh, Sin wonders if I need help or not, and then he spies Chogat. I wonder if Cho is going to poke his head in or not, but. I have no mana with which to kill him, and now I'm trying to save Zin, although there's actually an epic miscommunication because there's no way we could ever have killed Shoga. And actually, I should have just turned around and killed Kennen, but then Leona shows up, and I'm dead. A Q ignite Leona, and then bot lane, surprisingly enough of this evil, actually reacts, and... yeah. You know, it took a pretty stupid place to respawn, recall, 
but yeah not the greatest of start like i said i am rusty as hell oh draven was afk for five and a half minutes this game but that's not the reason why they lose or make up your own mind so kenan now has a kill i only have an assist I go aggressively, Ward. And... back to lane. I'm aggressively trying to cue him from a side. So, can I actually react, surprisingly enough? And Zin dukes by going on to Leona, which is actually pretty funny. But uh, we see Bones of War, we see Cho'Gaf trying to counter jungle Zin's jungle, and Kennen's already buggered off to mid, so obviously we're gonna just go and kill him. We cut off the escape and we silence him immediately, so we can't jump over the wall or any other jazz like that. Um, I didn't know whether he had a flash or not, but it doesn't matter. He got CC'd all hell and back, you just kill him. And now I have his blue buff as well, which is the other reason why I need that kill. See, in that instance, Kennen walks at you in an attempt to... No, that wasn't the thing. In this instance, it was just an example of people who want to walk at you in order to do damage. Swain will do that, a lot of other people will do that as well. And you just punish them by doing the easiest part of your combination, which is throwing chains at them. So, brilliance of doing this is... Um, he has the passive. This is what Kennen always does. He has a passive, he wants to throw it on you. It has a, not the greatest range, so you throw chains and then queue it. So he just took harass for free, pretty much, due to his own volition. And then that gives you many options later on of which to work on his face if you're so pleased. But as it is, chains is a, a longer range than his um, augmented attack anyway. And then, if it doesn't connect, boohoo. That means he just has to throw it out somewhere else. If it does connect, then, oh well, throw a Q, kill him. It's fine. You outrange him, so abuse it. And here, he tries it again, having not learned, and this time I just jump on his face and kill him. He wants to do something stupid and brazen like that. Just punish him for it. He walks up to you in a straight line. That is what all cannons do, basically. It's just, I have this shiny shuriken, and I must throw it on your face. And they're walking a straight line to do so. And then you can just do that. And it just makes it so easy sometimes. <sighs> so I'll repeat that again. I'll just skip later. So. He has augmented. Uh, Surge. He wants to throw it at you. So you combo him back. Because you've really landed chains, you're guaranteed both procs of your sigil. Happy? Good. Well, you're not guaranteed, but you're pretty much guaranteed as anything. But you can just QR. And even if he flashes, that's fine. That's his flash gone. You've not wasted anything special. So I wonder whether there was anything to kill down here, but Cho obviously it was warded as Cho'Gav would just try to block off anything. I probably could have distorted it over and tried to find someone, but it's too risky. It's fine. I go for boots because I want to actually make sure he suffers. I see Cho'Gav going in and uh, tells in this, but I didn't anticipate Kennen would react that quickly. And then I cause him to die, which is not great. Uh, I can't distort onto him because I'm almost certain that something else was going to happen. But it didn't. But as it is, he blew his escape mechanisms. Cassian comes charging in, so I'm just going to jump over the wall and kill him. It's fine. Kill one. I have red and I have blue buff, but it's still not brilliant because Zin lost his red buff. And he's losing time in the jungle. So, we saw Cho'Gath go up here. I don't know why you can see this through the smoke, because in my game I couldn't. So I wanted to ward here, but he's only level 5 still because we've killed him repeatedly. So, 
jump on his face past these two so they don't catch on chains, throw chains so he can't but so he can't dodge it that easily because you're on top of him, QR and he's dead as well. So that that's their jungler killed, and you now got two for one basically. What would have happened if San didn't turn up? Um Dunno, I would have just jumped on Ken anyway. But in this instance, we were almost certain that San was gonna die because he's AP and not AD against Jace, who I don't know. But, as it turns out, Jace seems to be a bit of the special side, and look at this. He flashes over, and then turns back and kills him. We thought this was quite good. It happens again later. Don't know whether this Sion is actually better, as in, he's not completely retarded like most Sions are. Push lane, run around ganking and stuff. Or whether he was just lucky, but it was pretty good. And there's another one later on, which is actually quite impressive as well. So, I go and get blue. And that's that. And now they're asking him to report Jace. So, at this point in time... Uh, it's 11 minutes, there's 7 kills, of which I have 4. And none of them were on Draven. Graves has none, and Tarek has 1. This game did not spiral out of control because Draven went AFK. It was everything else about it. So I'm trying to push this to the tower so we can dive it because I can easily kill Ken at this point. I'm wary that he disappeared up top, and I was right. Except then we see he blows his escape mechanism in attempt to do raids. So we absolutely punish him for it. There's no way he can dodge this besides Flash. So I just QR instead after throwing Chase. If Chase is connect, you still have QR, and they still blown flash in any circumstance even if he does of which you you just take and harass for free but he's dies because he did the most retarded move it's why i prefer warding here now as opposed to here because you have more vision of these areas chogov has to wander off because he can't do anything in this jungle anymore because if he tries to i would turn up and kill him for it i want to know if uh, sin needed any help but he didn't he only needed it if Chogav would have turned up. And we're wondering whether we can get something done on Jace, who... Like, any sensible person would have gone back by now, but what he does... You, you saw, I wanted to go around as well, but he pushes to the tower. So, the other thing is cutting off avenues of escape. Some people might want to try going around here and tanking the tower. So, I would be on this side ready to receive him, but as it is, he fully engages on Zin, thinking that Zin's alone. And at this point, it's a safe kill. So I ask him if he wants it, and he says no, so I kill him. No! No, I missed it! Sod it. Right, Sion tries to... is in mid. Uh, this is just a catalogue of failures. Leona misses... Oh, Mrs. Key. <laughs> Kenan's still carrying at his tower. Um, Sion gets exhausted a bit early, but they're now trying to chase us down. We're almost certain that Sion's going to die, and they're determined to kill him. But what happens? It turns on his head. He pops his shield up. Uh, stuns Kenan, who gets tower aggro. So Kenan dies. And then... I try to lock down Leona, but it's okay. He managed to turn a 2v1 straight around its head, and so I'm going to give him the credit for actually being not retarded as Sion. You'll never hear me say that again, most likely. Was that Kennen's fault? Honestly, it probably could have been if he probably triggered Sunlight procs, but then again, you could always blame Yona for missing both of her skill shots. So, all aboard the blame train. I mean... Did any of that have to do with Draven being AFK? Probably not. So, we spy their blues up. We saw Cho'Gath go top. So, this was basically a free blue. Cho'Gath's given up on his buffs. He can't do anything about them. Kennen's in no position to fight me. He's in no position to fight me. And we want to go down and kill Draven, but Draven's already dead. That kind of burst, I would be proud of.
And so we see Leona going this way, and we killed her as well. Technically, I didn't need to mimic, but plus points for style. Right, cutting off avenues of escape. Where can Kennen go in this instance? Silent's approaching on one side, Din's approaching on the other. The only way he can go now is either flash over or get CC for one of these people. So your option is not to follow Zin, it's to cut off this avenue of escape. And I'm right. He proceeds to flash over and then we proceed to kill him. And considering how much we've just sat on him, he does no damage. Kennen's ult cannot kill you by itself, and it won't do anything else, especially if he's running. If he turns around and tries to fight you, then perhaps he could. But I was honestly confident enough that we would wipe him out before he even tried anyway. But no, that was more than a uh, lesson in just seeing where people are, and then cutting off their avenues of escape and getting kills that way. Too many times I see just people headlessly running around chasing people not thinking outside the box and wondering where is he going to go well in this case we wondered whether Jace would learn and the answer was no he still pushed way out and then we asked can we tower dive him um, unfortunately Leslie here learned some broken mechanics which was that audacious charge challenges your opponent what he tried to do was get in front of Jace and knock him back out of tower range, but because he closed the distance on Jace, it doesn't affect him, it only affects everybody else. And so we kill Jace anyway. Which is fine, but just be wary. I have no idea why we can see things through Fog of War and Spectator, because obviously I can't, else I really would be hacking. Uh, what else do we see? Now we're just looking for opportunities. So Sam here. We know I know he can tag some tower shot. I know I can instantly give Kennen. And I'm waiting for him to stun Kennen and I can instantly run around and give his face. As soon as he goes in, I'll go in as well. Because Kennen's bound to run backwards. And he just gets wiped. I chain Leona so she can't exactly follow us. But she managed to stun me before I can distort properly. But it's okay, Scion's a tough bastard, and we can kill the owner, and I try to give Scion the kill. This game has to end before it gets to late game, but 20 to 5, we're not going to dither around and just run around killing people. Okay, we're going to do that as well, but... Um, right, I'm going to go this back a bit. We're not going to dither around and just run around killing people that like many people do. We have to push down these turrets, which Bottom's doing, we're doing. But Leslie made a mistake in a moment, which was didn't know where Draven went. He thought Draven went up, which was fine, but the ultimate stopped right here, which gave his position away. It's the same deal with Malzahar and his voidlings. It's exactly where he is where he is. And Leslie missed it. So we find Draven. And Draven is making an exit. And then we see if we can find Jace. Except this goes horribly wrong. Like, I don't even know what happens. All I know is I randomly took tower aggro. So, we do this. It's aggroed onto Zin, right? And then... Oh wait, no, it didn't aggro onto me. He just wiped the floor with me. I didn't actually anticipate that. Like I said, I'm rusty. Don't blame me. <laughs> but it's okay. Jace is retarded. With even with his kills, nothing's gonna happen. I don't even need E to kill the owner. The issue with this one was if you charge straight at people. Most of them know that you they they see you and then they just run away. As opposed to you come from the side, they see someone like Zin and they go, ah, oh, he's not gonna be stupid su suicidal enough to just charge at us. But when he does, then they're caught and then you have an opportunity to go and wipe the floor of someone, which you usually do. Unfortunately the only isn't really worth that much gold at this point. 
Uh, oh god, I should have showed you that one as well. I love this function. So, Kenan sees three people at the tower, thinks, I'll make a play, I'll stun them all underneath it. But, as it turns out, he stuns nobody, and instead of bursting people, he gets bursted instead. Kaboom. That ult did absolutely nothing. Maybe didn't have a team to back him up, but he's doing no damage. I spy Draven, but I pity him, so I let him go. This is one of the point I was trying to see whether I could snipe off Jace is actually worth 300 gold. But as it turns out, uh, nothing actually happens. They back off. Uh, then, for some really strange reason, Draven shows his face up here in a moment. Oh, someone actually knew I was there, which is strange. So, Zin basically is a good shepherd. Shepherds Draven to me, and I kill him. 135 gold. Hooray. Except then there's a fight. So, analyzing this, we see Jace is low and wants to get the hell out of here. So, obviously, being the very kind person that I am, I put him out of his misery and kill him. There's no reason to distort back because that will put me further from the fight, so I just keep going forwards. Even if he flashes or does anything, he can't catch up to us in time because he has no ultimate. So we just throw out spells and just do damage and everyone is happy except the purple team. And they surrendered. Then we're just normal running around, then we see Draven and then we can play and we to kill him again. Oh well. I don't know whether you learned as much as you did in the other videos, just because of the lower quality overall of the gameplay, but I hope to rectify that fairly soon, and I am pretty certain you'd rather have a video that told, taught you something as opposed to nothing, like how people, especially Kenan, just run up to you with their stupid shuriken, and then you can just throw them back at him in the shape of sigils and death. Have fun.